Hey everybody, I am pretty excited. I finally got uh, the two paintings uh, that Brian got me for Mother's Day and they are from Diamond Art Club as you can tell. So I wanted to do a couple of quick unboxings. Um, I am just ecstatic to got a square and a round as you can see. And one thing that's just amazing about the Diamond Art Club boxes is there's just so much glitter and sparkle just even in the box you get a lot of the like iridescent uh quality to the box that is really fun um and then of course you've got uh the the, the square image that indicates that it's a square painting and then of course the round that indicates that you've got round drills and just the quality i have watched so many different unboxings and post reviews and i have been just drooling over Diamond Art Club um, for some time now and uh, I finally got my hands on a couple so I'm very excited. I've got uh, the absolutely incredible incredible Mandy Manzano art um, of Talitha Coem and just that, you know, girl get up um, that that is so symbolic of so many different aspects of life of that, you know, in the storm and the darkness um, that that you can be lifted right up out of there is just an incredible piece that spoke to me so much. And then I have such a connection to lighthouses, which is why I wanted The Cottage by the Sea by um, Chuck Benson. And there's just something incredible about the image of a lighthouse um, also being that kind of hope and beacon in the darkness that spoke to me and continues to speak to me. I have lighthouses all over my house. So um, both of these pieces are very, very, very special to me. So I was very excited. I am going to go ahead and get these out so you can see the amazing artwork in all of their glory. So uh, just one moment and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got uh, the first here, obviously the, the Mandy Manzano. I had to start there. Um, and I will first talk about just our the, the sticker. Um, I love that you have this ability. So there's a couple of things you can do here. Once you cut it up, you can um, peel off the original art sticker and just have that in your storage container for your drills or in a journal to kind of help reflect on some of the different paintings that you've done and what you loved and some of the more challenging aspects or or just things that you remember as you were working on it it's just a fun way to kind of document and make it even more special your journey so that's kind of exciting and then of course you get your toolkit um these i have been very very excited to get because there's a lot in these toolkits that make them special. Um, of course, every single diamond painting you get will likely have some of these items that are at least the essential tools. Um, so it's very exciting though when you get kind of a little, a little extra. So of course you get your pen. It's a single placer with a brass tip, the common one. You get your grip, which is really fun because it kind of just makes it a little more ergonomical um, to have that grip on the end. And I'm not gonna go through the process of getting that squished all the way down, but it just kind of gives you that pen grip. Um, baggies, if you want to kit up using a baggie method, um, that's a really handy way to um, not only have your diamonds if you're gonna kit it up, not in storage containers, but also if you just wanna store your extra diamonds, that's a great way to do so. You get two um, little heart waxes. It's just the typical pink wax. It's got the um, the protective clear lighting on there as well. So that, that allows it um, to um, stick to the canvases and, and your pens. And then of course a multi-placer. So that's always fun because you can use uh, this just the same pen and then make it into um, a two-sided, which is really great. And then of course you get a nice little tray for your diamonds um, with a funnel on the end so that you can replace. Um, one thing that I notice right away on the Diamond Art Club is that this tray is really nice and sturdy and it has a little higher lip around the edge than what I have seen in some of the less expensive kits. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Now, as you can see right off the gate, and I'll kind of move this stuff out of the way, 
this is a very large canvas. It just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> so I'm going to try to see if I can get this in the camera field here, but this is a very large piece. Okay. Oh my goodness. So I had heard this and I am, I can't even iterate to you what I'm noticing. This is the softest canvas I have ever felt. It is so nice. Um, it just, I've heard this again and again about Diamond Art Club, but unless you experience it yourself, you don't really have the same appreciation. This is so soft. Um, so the quality is just unlike anything I have experienced before. <laughs> My little man in the background, you're gonna hear him. He is, uh, feeling a little under the weather. So that's what that is. Oh my gosh. Just watching this beautiful image come into, oh, I love it so much. Oh my goodness. And oh my goodness. it's very large. Yes. So hold that buddy. Okay. Oh my and then of course we got our drills. Look at all of these beautiful colors. It's gonna be so vivid. We'll look at that in just a moment, but I just really wanted to share this with you. I just, there is no way that I'm going to get all of this in a frame, <laughs> but I will attempt to at least kind of show you the different areas. And then afterwards, I will also zoom out and just kind of have a picture so that you can see that. But it is just incredible. Look at this artwork. This is your biggest one so far. It is definitely my biggest one so far, buddy. It is a lot, but it is going to be amazing. And I can just tell, I mean, not only is the canvas just so soft and such a great quality, but the images and the symbols like, that you're going to be working yeah, with. You can like see all like this stuff is so clear and that is one thing i have really always worked with a a light pad underneath my work because it is such a challenge sometimes to see these images and to see the symbols that you're working with um but that is obviously not going to be a problem with diamond art club everything is so vivid and so clear even on some of these harder kind of to see gold areas they've chosen the right contrast color to make it very, very clear and easy to see. And even though that it is a round kit, it makes the grid obvious as well, which is one challenge versus a square drill kit. You're gonna have kind of a less of a, a guide with round drills, <coughs> but it is not going to be a problem. I definitely think that this is a lot to bite off uh, because this is a very, very large piece, but so incredible. And of course, I've mentioned before, very, very important to me. Let's see if I can get this in frame. I'm gonna just move this guy up so that I can share this with you. There it is, okay. So, one of the things that I have noticed as I have dove headfirst into this new hobby of mine is that there is a major problem with not having legally licensed work. There are a number of companies that you can purchase inexpensive diamond paintings from, but the artist is not being compensated for their work. And that really bothers me. So I'm being very conscious about where I am purchasing my paintings going forward to ensure that not only are the artists getting credit for their incredible work, but that it will be legally licensed so that you can be assured that the artist is getting credit for their work. So this is something that Diamond Art Club takes very seriously as well. Not only do you have the legends and everything um, as well as the little thumbnail, but they do indicate on every single one of their canvases, the artist, and that it has been legally licensed. So very exciting. 
All right, well, this is incredible and I am extremely excited to get started on this painting, but I wanna show you the other one. So I'll be right back. Okay, and here we have Cottage by the Sea. Here is our thumbnail sticker that you can use again in your journals. I hope that's actually coming into focus for you. There we go. As well as um, putting it with your containers that you kit up your drills in or however you wanna use this, but this is a wonderful way to keep track of the different diamond paintings that you have done. And then, Again, you've got your kit that comes with it. The only reason I wanna show you the kit as, on this one as well is with a square drill kit, you are gonna get a pair of tweezers in addition to everything else I showed you before. So that's really exciting because they, they do have a protective tip and they are very sharp, pointed, really high quality tweezers, and this will help you in placing those square drills. So that was something that I wanted to show you as well that comes with the square drill kits, in addition to everything else that came in the toolkit before. So I'm gonna put these things to the side and let's take a look at this canvas. Once again, extremely soft, pliable canvas. It has kind of a self-leveling agent to it, so it's gonna lay flat for you so much faster. And as you can see, the artwork here is amazing, but it's also extremely confetti heavy. And confetti is where you don't have a whole lot of color blocking. Um, the colors are really just pixelated together to create that image from afar. And, and so it's a lot of kind of single placing. So it takes a little longer to complete those, but that's all right. And there's that beautiful lighthouse. Oh my word, he's so pretty. Just look at that. Let's scroll you up so you can see a little more of the artwork. There we go. And this one is a little bit smaller, but still a very, very large canvas. It is. It's a little smaller, but like... There's a lot going on. <laughs> Absolutely. Here is our color palette. And as you can see, we do have those square drills that I was talking about, but the quality is just really incredible. Oh my word. Okay. Also, I forgot to mention to you in the Mandy Manzano um, painting, you've got your step-by-step -step instructions that come with every Diamond Art Club, which is really nice. And there's also a thank you, um, coupon code that you can use on your next purchase. So that always comes with the kits as well. And this handy dandy little sticker sheet. So all of these symbols that correspond to the legend of your diamond painting will peel off individually and you can put them on your storage containers to make it really, really easy to kit up your diamond. As well as another sticker sheet of the image of original artwork. And again, it is all legally licensed, which is amazing. Okay, friends, I'm excited. Now I just have to decide which one I'm gonna do first. I would love to hear in the comments what your suggestions are. I'm feeling very drawn to this lighthouse, but I also really, really, really love the Mandy Manzano piece. So let me know what your thoughts are and I am excited to get started. All right, thanks, bye.